Hello beautiful people, welcome to Add to Playlist, a video series that hopefully introduces you to some new and interesting artists or songs that you may not really know about. I'll be going over some artists briefly and making some recommendations along the way. Now, before we really get into this, a quick disclaimer. Well, two disclaimers. The first is that I am not a musician, singer, musical critic, or anything of the sort. Simply a guy with a passion for music and a willingness to stray from typical genres. If a song hits my ear in a good way, chances are that I'm going to give it another listen. Or five. Secondly, these videos are going to be completely subjective. I pick what I pick because I like it. It doesn't mean that I'm right. Just an opinion, nothing more. With that out of the way, let's dive into today's topic. If you were a kid in the 90s, chances are you heard this singer's voice at least once. Well, at least if you were a fan of the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, that is. I'm talking about none other than one Aurelio Voltaire. Going by the name Voltaire primarily, he was born in Cuba before immigrating to the USA. Of all places, he moved to New Jersey, where he grew up and hated it. I don't blame him. As a New Jersey native myself, it's, uh... Well, rough, to say the least. But despite this, he became an accomplished artist in multiple forms of media, including becoming an author, director, and of course, musician. His style is described as dark cabaret, but honestly, whenever I talk about his work, I just call him a comedic gothic artist. To that end, the first song I ever heard of his was Brains, from The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy which aired in the episode Little Rock of Horrors. At the time, I didn't know who Voltaire was, I just liked this song. It was dark, but funny, and definitely made the episode stick out in my memory for years to come. Voltaire also wrote another song for the show. It was used in the opening credits of the Billy and Mandy movie, Big Boogie Adventure, and it was called Land of the Dead. <laughs> Years pass and I'm watching a video online, Nostalgia Critic, and I hear a snippet of another song. This led me to investigate this time, and I loved what I found. So much so, I stayed up that night on YouTube listening to over a hundred of Voltaire's songs back to back. The song that sparked this interest was titled When You're Evil. Automatically, I am drawn in by the sound of beautiful violins and I was hooked once the lyrics started. The beginning sounds a bit somber, but starts picking up momentum. It's a real celebration of the little bit of evil we all have deep inside us. The song also has a quick, but satisfying subversion that always gets people who hear it for the first time. It is definitely one that I recommend for no other reason than to just get a little bit of a laugh. Especially if your sense of humor is a little bit on the dark side. My only gripe with the song, honestly, is I personally played it too much. Moving on from the little bit of evil within us all to the granddaddy of evil himself, this next track may actually leave you with some sympathy for the devil. Almost Human, when it starts playing, it starts abruptly, and it certainly catches your attention. Not really something I like about the song, personally, but to each their own. The story is obviously about Lucifer, but it is a compelling story nonetheless, and it can apply to general life. Would you have really thought of the devil as being more human than Angel? At one time or another, we have all felt like we were cast out for no good reason, and we missed something that we had despite having something new in its place. The chorus is the strongest part of this song, I'm not going to lie. But it doesn't take away from the rest of the track at all. There are times where I wish the word choices were different, stronger, but overall it is more of the thought-provoking songs that I've heard early in my tenure of being a fan of Voltaire's. Speaking of food for thought, where do you think you will go when you die? What are your beliefs? 
Voltaire, as an artist, hones in on the hypocrisy of religion as a whole with a lot of his songs. And one of my favorites uh, that he really drives the point home in is Hell in a Handbasket. The song starts off slow and steady, and that may be a deal breaker for some, but you may quickly notice the general tempo of the song is reminiscent of When the Saints Go Marching In, which is completely intentional, and it's topped off with a few references to other musicians as well. In general though, the song is upbeat and easy listening despite the actual lyrics, but it poses a big question in a very simple way. Let's face it, most of us are going to hell. Now for a change of pace. Literally. This next song, by all accounts, is a waltz. A headless waltz, to be specific. You're greeted immediately by the sounds of violins, tambourines, and I am definitely intrigued. This tune is definitely more on the side of the macabre, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. I also appreciate the historical references, which are pretty accurate to the French Revolution and the wordplay that it utilizes. I could easily listen to this song just to listen to it or have it playing in the background. It's easy listening, but it does pick up the pace later, which keeps it from being 100% background music. Honestly, I love the song, but without that change in tempo, it may not have even made this list. It definitely makes it more interesting. Anyone who knows me knows I have a fascination with strange or obscure things. So an atypical song will definitely keep my attention. To that, we turn to Riding a Black Unicorn. Automatically, I was like, what the fuck could this song be about? So I gave it a listen, and I was not disappointed. Horns, horses from the gate, and a song that really has a deeper meaning than its title may initially suggest. It comes down to three simple morals. Be unique, be bold, and stand up for yourself. The world needs heroes, and those who stand up against oppression are more likely to succeed than those who sit there and take it. Take a stand, even though the world may seem like it's against you. Not gonna lie though, out of context this song is definitely bizarre, so beware of who else may be hearing it. As far as songs that anyone can enjoy, here is one that will definitely find an audience. Day of the Dead. A song very simply about the Day of the Dead celebration of Mexico. What makes this song stand out to me though is just how many different versions of this song there is. There is one in English, there is one in Spanish, there is a kids version, and even one for the game Adventure Quest Worlds, all sung by the man himself. There is one lyric that I find a bit awkwardly phrased, but that's just me being nitpicky. Overall, the upbeat tone in every version just makes it a good song for any Day of the Dead celebration. Speaking of a celebration, you know what you should play next time you're at a birthday party? Happy Birthday, My Old Friend. A birthday song that is both macabre and fun, if you could believe it. Also, the only song on this list that has a music video attached to it. Definitely recommend watching it, too. This definitely makes me laugh. It's the simple acceptance of our own mortality that does it for me. You're getting older, and unfortunately, one day you're going to die. We all will. Why not have fun in the meantime, you know? Honestly, if this song were played at my birthday, I'd be laughing too hard to blow out the candles. Bonus points for anyone playing this song sarcastically, for anyone in your life you feel like who just needs a little more cynical birthday song in their life. Cigarette, 
We touched on songs that were strange, fun, macabre, and pointed out hypocrisy. But there are songs in his repertoire that are a tad deeper than that. Innocent is one of those songs. I find it touching and inspiring for starters. Beautiful composition of lyrics, guitars, drums, and a message that can really speak to anyone out there who's truly struggling. People as a whole kind of suck. This piece highlights that and sends a message to anyone listening that sometimes people will hurt you in your life. And you haven't done anything wrong. You just can't give up. Be you, keep your head up, and keep your hopes up. One day you'll come out on the other side, stronger, wiser, and definitely in a better place than when you started. This next one keeps the same somber tone, but it's more of a story time song. That is a huge plus for me personally because I love anything that tells me a story, and this C definitely delivers. Voltaire is joined here by Julia Marcel, a Polish singer who has a beautiful voice. The two of them knock it out of the park, their voices complement each other immensely. It's a sad tale about the fate of two lovers who were separated. The song follows a very distinct flow and draws you in with a fantastic piano, steady drums, and an ever-present violin. Drawing to a close, the song takes a heartbreaking turn and tells a beautiful story in only five minutes. Unfortunately, my nitpicky nature pops up again here, and there's just one lyric that simply I wish was different. It doesn't break the song for me, but it's still an awkward word choice for me. Now for a story time of a different nature. The last song I present to you is one I personally hold near and dear to my heart. In fact, it is the only one on this list I actively sing along with whenever I play it. The reason I enjoy it so much, though, is because I like songs you can really project yourself onto. You take them and you use them as you see fit, and you put it onto your own life. This last song is titled, Feathery Wings. We start off with a marriage between guitar and violin, and I already know I'm in for something special. The rhythm of it is difficult for me to peg. It's unique and keeps you invested, or at least it kept me invested. The lyrics can get a little repetitive, but there are definitely some lines that are simply unexpected, and I appreciate the song that much more for it. Listening to this piece, it brings up so many thoughts. It makes me reflect on myself, my life, and my choices, and where they're leading me. I feel like that is definitely a sign that you're doing something right. If your song has someone thinking about it, far beyond just trying to remember the lyrics. Now, different lyrics have different meanings to different people, and that is one of the factors that made this song stick out to me so much, but I will admit According to Voltaire's own material, this song is from the point of view of the angel of death and how painful it is to see the souls uh, to the beyond. Kind of a duty of remorse. Now Voltaire may not be for everyone, but that's fine. You may not like all of his songs, you may not like any of his songs. But give some of these songs a listen before you truly decide. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, am I right? For those of you who liked what you heard today, drop by the Lair of Voltaire on YouTube for additional content. Hell, I never touched on it, but he has some funny Star Trek songs as well. So if you're a fan of that, fan of these songs, or what have you, go ahead and check it out. Links to every song can be found in the description. Let me know if you ended up adding any of these songs into your own personal playlist. If not, well, tell me why you didn't. There are no wrong answers here, or bad choices. Just different tastes. As always, I hope to see you here again next time. And in the meantime, play me out.
sticking around to the end. Thank you for doing that. I wanted to do a little bit of housekeeping right here at the very end of the video, so thanks for sticking around. Something I do want to address. This video in of itself has taken a long time for me to make, and honestly, it's it's far from my best work. Um, it may sound like an excuse, but... You know, it's like I'm new to using this program that I've been using to edit this video, and on top of that, I've kind of tried to do too much too fast with a program I'm unfamiliar with. So I would like to make more of these videos, uh, more of these add to playlist videos, and I do intend on doing so. Uh, but I'm going to drastically cut back on what I do in them and make it a more simplistic video and I hope that you guys appreciate the input itself on the songs and the artists and the suggestions of what, you know, to probably give a listen to every now and again. Uh, but as always, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, anything you'd like to do. Let me know if you like anything that was on this video or any future ones. Hell. I'll even take suggestions at some, uh, down the line. That is part of the plan. But let me know what you think of the video moving forward, this video, and, you know, further projects. Look forward to seeing you in the future. Thanks again.